Many people are trying gluten-free diets to lose weight, but avoiding gluten is an important matter of survival if you have celiac disease. One in 133 Americans has it, but experts say many haven't been diagnosed. Ursula Perry shows us that researchers say they found a potential cause for the condition, which brings them closer to a cure. It's Mexican night at the Simon house. You're in charge of the gluten-free tortillas, Hannah. For this family, mealtime takes planning. Ten-year-old Hannah was diagnosed with celiac disease three years ago. Hannah was um, not well, really, from birth on. Since her diagnosis, she avoids food with gluten. If she doesn't... I throw up a lot, and I... My stomach hurts a lot. Scientists at the University of Chicago are working to determine the cause of celiac disease, an autoimmune disorder that causes the protein in gluten to damage the small intestine lining. Researchers know it is genetic. Once you have this genetic makeup, you are at very, very high risk of developing the disease. But not everyone with the gene develops the disorder. Bana Jabri and her colleagues say their research shows infection with a common but mostly harmless virus called the reovirus can trigger the disease. When you ingest gluten and you have a viral infection, now all of a sudden the immune system thinks that gluten is like a virus and mounts this kind of inflammatory immune response. Jabri says researchers in her lab are looking at whether a vaccine against that virus could also prevent celiac disease. Right now, the only treatment is a gluten-free diet. There's substitutes for most of the things that you eat that have gluten in them. Hannah approaches celiac with a sense of humor. Dressing for Halloween as a gluten-free donut, it's as close to gluten as she can get. Ursula Perry, KSAT 12 News. Babies are usually given their first solid foods at about six months, often containing gluten. Jabri says children are more susceptible to viral infections at that age, and those who have the celiac gene could be at a higher risk at that point for developing celiac disease.